Hey guys, hey! I am just going to do a really quick little walkthrough of my office says. Um, I'm not showing my face because I just finished cleaning and I need a shower and I'm, my hair, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm disgusting right now, so not showing myself. But anyway, here is my very tiny little office. I originally had my office in the bigger bedroom when I first moved here for a couple of years and then my family moved in with me and I had to give them the bigger room because, um, you know, they couldn't fit in here. You can barely even fit like a bed in here and have any room to walk around it. So I moved everything into here and it's super cramped and everybody's finally out of my house now. So I have the other room back. So I decided to make that like my cricket room slash guest room slash Aubrey's room, my granddaughter, because she spends um, a half, like a half of every week with me. So she's, she's always here every week. So and she usually, she likes to sleep with me, but I like to give her her own space a little bit so she can just go do what she wants. She's nine, you know, she can, she doesn't have to sleep with me. Anyway, so this room now is for my um, I planning, I pay bills in here, uh, quilling, and, you know, just kind of a mishmash of things. So, anyway, um, sorry about the lighting. It's probably pretty bad. Let me see if I can turn it on. Maybe it'll help a little. Anyway, there's the door. Um, to the left here is my little desk. Uh, it's quite small, um, but, you know... It is what it is. Uh, the little girls on the wall are all quills that I did, I don't know, a long time ago. I just slapped them in some frames and put them up on the wall. And pens, you'll see I have pens everywhere. Um, they're all in, you know, rainbow order because why not? And a bunch of stuff, just little, little things, knickknacks, wood things. I like wood, so... Little things I got there. That little card he sings. Um, you know, it's a squirrel, so I had to keep it. And so I'm not going to get into my desk drawers. Okay, maybe one. Um, this one has <laughs> all the pens and erasers and an iPad pencil. And these are all um, like the Tombow uh, tape runners and... What do you call these? Uh, these are Tombow Mono Correction Tapes. Anyway, tons of stuff in there. Um, I'm not even sure. That's a mess. Uh, yeah, I'm not going there because I don't even know what's in half the stuff. One of these days I'm going to go through and organize all that, but not yet. And then the, my little printer. And I have... Um, printer paper and sticker paper and all that kind of stuff over there on the floor so I can get to it. This is all stickers. So I used to do the whole kit thing and um, I mean if you've watched any of my, seen any of my Instagram posts you know that I do like a day-to-day -day planning and I use all kinds of different um, stickers. So these ha are, you know, ridiculous. There. So there's more down there, and then I don't even know what's down there. On the side of this, these are the planners that I'm in right now, but I keep all of them in one planner as I go. Um, there's some more quilling stuff down there. My chair. My little... This is where I um, film my plan with me, so you can see the, the lights and all the things. My neighbors. Um, let's see, that's a quill of a squirrel. I don't know if you can really make it out. I should have put it on a white background, but I did not. All my little collection of squirrels and moose. Uh, not a whole lot of moose, but they're there. So more collectible crap up there. And then I have this little built-in. And um, these are pens that I used to collect, pen gem pens. I don't really collect them anymore. I just... It's crazy how much money I spent on that. There's some washi in here. Um, this is... Uh, There's just kind of a mishmash of washi. This is from the washi tape shop right here. And then this is from um, Cookie Planner Co. I think that's what it's called. I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, and then down here is a whole bunch of paper. 
This is off quilling paper over here. Um, I, it's kind of a mess and it's hard to get to. I'll have to figure that out. Now, I wasn't going to show you my closet, but I'll just show it real quick and just don't, no judgment. It's kind of a disaster. I haven't organized. I don't know what I'm doing in there. So this is all office supplies, quilling stuff, old quills, more paper. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, unused planner stuff, uh, bullet journals, all those kinds of things. No idea what's on that shelf. All kinds of, well, I know there's knives and stuff in there. And I don't know. And then tons of paper. So I um, generally cut my own paper for quilling. So that's all paper. That's all paper in those three things right there. Um, that's just like a little hanger for when I make cards or whatever. I hang them up on there so I can kind of keep track of what I got going on. And clearly I haven't been doing that. Um, and then the other side, those are... Little tiny planners like that I used to take with me in my purse that are all filled out and I just keep them. Uh, I, I think there's all, that's all paper stuff down there. I have uh, stamping stuff in here. There's probably, this is for quilling, I don't know what's in here. Oh, more stamping stuff, stuff to make stickers. Um, you can, I've tried doing uh, strips of paper this way, not, not really a fan. Uh, more quilling paper up there. So, like I said, it's kind of, and then there's canvases and stuff in the back of that, just sitting there. And then I have a whole crop load of canvas and, um, shadow boxes in my shed outside. And so, anyway, I have more. It's just everywhere. This is, um, what do you call that? Washi tape. So all the different washi tapes, I have way too much. I probably need to go through it and get rid of some because I really don't even use it that much. Anyway, I try to keep them. These are all skinny washi, mostly skinny washi in here. Skinny washi. A lot of it is from Simply Gilded because I used to do her subscription. And then there's all this washi, which is definitely in color order. Um, again, I really don't use it that much. I'm not going to go through all that. So, someday, I'll go through it. Up top there, those are all planners that I've already planned in. So, I just, you know, hang on to them to look at it occasionally. That, that squirrel up there is made out of bike parts, which is really cool. I, I saw it in this gallery in the Prescott, um, for years. It was there for like three, four years and I finally bought it. I would go and stare at it and wish for it and all the things. And then after my mom died, I went and it was gone. I couldn't find it. And I was, oh, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to, I just was devastated. It wasn't there. And the lady heard me talking about it and she said, no, no, come on inside. It's, it's in here. So I was like, okay, well, that clearly I need to buy it now. So I finally did, and it was uh, very expensive, I'll just say, which is why I never bought it previously to that. But anyway, stories. So this is probably uh, just all kinds of paper stuff. Um, these are all stickers, a couple of extra planners. These stickers are all freebies from when I would buy kit, you know, kits on Etsy and I would get all the um, freebie stuff when I never used them. I just put them in this book to save for later. Let me see if I can get a picture of it. Anyway, these are all, this light is terrible, just sticker after sticker after sticker. There's tons. Anyway, all the little freebies. And then I have some more little freebies in these books. In there, these are all letters and number stickers. These are foils, so like silver, gold, rose gold, those are in some other colors in there. I have extra kit stuff laying around everywhere. These are little mini kits I haven't used yet. These are all colorful boxy boxes kind of things. Um, who knows what that is. Um, extra, again, leftover kit stuff. 
This is all Aaron Condren stuff. They were in books, but I took them out. Um, leftover stuff. This is all stuff I made. Um, these are all leftover kits as well. So I, sorry about that. Um, I got tired of looking at them, so I just started cutting them up and putting them in these boxes with, you know, you can see deco, flags, checklists, all of the things, headers. So there's that. I have this little book. I've never even read it. Someday. Pens, again, pens coming out of my ears because I love pens. Whoops. So they're everywhere. More pens. More pens. Who knows what's all in there. Um, let's see. So I think that's it for this office for now. That little squirrel my sister made me. I love it. It's very cool. Okay, so then the other office, bathing suit I bought my granddaughter. She's just ignore that. So this room was originally my office, and then it was a bedroom for however long, year and a half, however long they were here. So, door. Sorry, bathroom's over there. Um, so I have a bunch of vinyl up on the wall, and then my Cricut makers and... What do you call these? Um, the mats, some 12 by 12 mats, 12 by 24 mats, another cricket, a bunch of water bottles that I'm gonna do something with. I don't know yet. This is all iron on um, vinyl, and then this is just regular vinyl. And oh, that's one of those diamond paintings down there that I can only do it for so long. It is humongous. I mean, I need like an eight foot table to work on it. It's just huge, So, but I get sick of it after a while. This is just cricket things, you know. Um, these I got at the dollar store. I don't know why. Oh, it's upside down. That's good. I think they're supposed to hang on the wall. Anyway, I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with those yet. This little desk, more pens, cause you know, can't have too many. And let's see, old sign I made. This is a, uh, let's see, this is for laminating and that kind of thing. More vinyl and iron on, more vinyl and iron on. Down at the bottom is all um, drawing paper, a little futon, a little, my friend bought me that squirrel pillow. I don't know where she was when she saw it, but she brought it home for me. Then this is the closet. I took the doors off and painted the back of the closet. Now, oh, by the way, I hate this color now. I'm so over it. But I'm probably just going to leave it for now. So that's just stuff. So if I go somewhere, I have some, I can put things in it, carry it with me. Flashlight in every room because you never know. Just little doodads, a couple of laminators, the um, iron for the, you know, press on iron. Oh, mailing stuff. Lord knows what's in here. Uh, T-shirts. A um, whole bunch of punches. Fabric stuff. More pens. These are all pens. Um, they're all, they're pretty much by color. Like all those are purple. Those are not, but you know, blue, pink. They're all in there. I don't know what else is down here. I don't feel like looking at it. Just junk. So I'll figure it out. So I just finished this room today. Like I said, so it's pretty bare actually, which is it's so tempting to flip it and to go the other way. Put the cricket in the other, cricket stuff in the other room and then all my everything else back in here. But it's just too much work to switch it over. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day. Please do all the YouTube -y things. You know, hit subscribe, do the thumbs up thing. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of short and kind of quick. And, you know, one day I'll get into, I'm going to organize all these drawers and then I'll get into all that. But, 
We'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks again. Have a great weekend. Happy 4th. Bye.